I think a lot of us just growing up as LGBTQ members, uh, we suppress a lot. And a lot of us who come out later in life lose a lot of that fun and ability to enjoy being who you are. I came out when I was living in a very, very conservative town. Um, population 2300, little Ohio town. I always felt pushed to always be still masculine. I wasn't allowed to let my femme side out. I'm from the deep south. I always had like a knife, a pepper spray, something like in my bag, just because living in New Orleans, it's rough. You don't have to be scared to walk out of your house being a homo here. Like here I am the freest I've ever been. I did not get comfortable with myself of expressing my femininity when I want to um, until I started drag and became a part of the community here. What time are we at? We are at 8.58. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good luck, second set home, all of you fall. Thanks. The direction that drag is going right now in Colorado Springs is super positive. We have made so much progress on where we originally started. We are now at at least four venues now in Colorado Springs have drag. This is how you keep your wigs on without them falling off if you're gonna flip your hair a lot or you're gonna really just get into your number. I don't know, whenever we performed at, perform at Zodiac or we've performed at the mansion or anything like that, those have always those always tend to be some of my favorite shows. And I think it's because I'm performing for an audience that's not used to me. Honestly, I haven't really had anything negative happen outside uh, when we're going to different venues and stuff. Um, and I've really had nothing but respect. I believe that a queen should always embody that empowerment. You, you, you're loud because you have to be. You need to empower other people to be loud. You're given a chance for a stage. What are you going to say? How are you going to be a leader and a teacher for your community?